Hello YouTube, what's up? Welcome to my second video tutorial on programming tips and tricks using C. I hope you enjoyed the last video tutorial. In the last video, we started with basic input and output mistakes that we do. So in this tutorial, we will continue with that. So let's get started. So in the last tutorial, we have seen how you can use the printf to skip the number of characters by using plus and then followed by an integer value. So that much integer value will skip that much character in the string. Then we have seen if you miss the variable then it will print the garbage value and then we have seen uh, for each number of percent %d or any format specifier you need to specify that much number of variables and vice versa. So in this tutorial we will see an another version of printf. So let's get started. So, so as you can see this is statement printf percent %c followed by a string and then array of 2. So what's happening is we want to print a character so that's why we have specified percent %c then you can see there is a string a b c d e f and then array of 2 so what's happening is the index 2 will get printed of this string so a is 0 b is 1 and c is 2 so this is index so the capital c will be the output next this thing is same as if we specify here str and let's declare a string star str is equals to a b c d e f it's the same thing just a different version so here you need to specify the string and then print instead of that instead of doing this thing you can directly specify the string here and then that index so the output of this will be same. next thing is a uh, slight number of lines written to perform the basic arithmetic operations so for basic arithmetic operation we need an operator so op input 1 is the operand 1 and input 2 is the operand 2 then result to store the result here we are reading to input from the console window from the user and here we are reading the operator and then we are performing the operation based on the operator pressed by the user then here we have we are printing the result so let's run this program and let's see what will be the output so if I enter so as you can see C is the output for the index if what happen if you'll give here a 3 let's give a index 3 so D will get printed as expected so next next is the basic calculator program so ask is asking for enter two number so let's enter two number so two space three and then press enter so one minute let's run once again enter the two number so I will enter two space three enter see it's saying the result is zero and it skipped the statement enter operator and it didn't scan it so why is that everything is fine here as you can see we have given operator input one result is initialized to zero ampersand input one ampersand input two we have given ampersand operator so everything is fine but still the output is zero and it's skipping the scan of operator <coughs> once again we'll see two three enter as you can see the result is zero so why it's happening so let's look so every operating system has three basic input file those are called as standard input file standard output file and standard error file so what's happened is whenever an error is error is occurred then the, that error will be written to this file whenever uh, an output has to be done then it is written to the std out file whenever an input has to be performed then it is written to the std in file through std in file so here what's happening is in this when we say enter two number so what's happening is we are giving two then a space then three and then we are pressing enter right so let's see here 
so whenever we press key whenever we press key so whatever the key is pressed is written to std in file okay and that whenever the input statements like scanf is called then it looks into the std and fi std in file and whatever is written there will be read by this scanner function okay so in this thing what we have entered two then a uh, space then three and then enter so what's happened here is the scanner will read the two integer value so it will read two and then it will read three what about enter so the enter is still there in the std in file so what it does is when we come to character so th this is kind of this is kind of will read 2 and 3 so this is kind of will read 2 and 3 but an inter after this after scanning this in the std std in file std in file inter is still there so what happened is the person c when this is kind of will get called the inter value will be assigned to this operator okay that's why there is no such operation in this switch so it will come here and it will print the result at 0 because we have initialized the result to 0 so once again when we when we input 2 and then 3 and then enter what happened the first scan of will read 2 integer and enter is still there in the std in file and then the second scan of will read enter as an operator and it is not asking for us to enter the operator and then the result 0 will get printed which is initialized so before so the trick here is before scanning any character from the file I mean from taking uh, input from the user you need to clear the standard input file so that whatever you are reading will not have any garbage value so let's see before reading the operator we use a function or a method known as ff f plus f plus and f plus what it does is whatever is there in the file will get cleared so we'll give std in because we want to flush the std in file okay so this statement what it does is it will clear the file std in okay so what it does is it will clear the std in file now let's run this so it's asking for number two space three and then i'm pressing enter then it's asking for the operator let's say plus and now you can see the result is five press any key to continue so the main idea is before reading any character or if you think that there is a situation where the garbage value will be there in the standard input file then use f plus and std in to clear the input file and then read the operator so what happened here is here the inter will not be there in the file okay inter is gone now now it's a fresh file and then you in input the character like i have entered plus and then this is kind of will read that plus and then the following operation result is equals to input one plus input two will perform and then it will print the output so that's it for this tutorial and we'll see more examples in the next tutorial thanks for watching